All right. Well, today, as you may notice, we have a slightly different mic. My nice mic is on loan. So we are going to use the built-in mic, which is terrible. Hello, everyone. XCry, Phil, nice to see you all. We're going to do some royalty-free music this morning. All right, well, let's start noodling around the piano and see what we can get. For some reason, my strings now start with their expression controller all the way down, which I'm not 100% sure. There it is. Why they do that. Let's drop our tempo up to 90. Kind of a good melody. Let's listen to it again. Ah, the window's not lined up again. Ugh. OBS. <laughs> that is, you're right. <laughs> Here, I'll do this. <laughs> OBS, man. There we go. <laughs> no, it's super annoying that it does that. We're gonna need to slow things down a little bit, um, and I'm gonna save this as let's see, today's the 29th, 29th, really. Oh. All right, let's see what it sounds like at like a 75 tempo. Drop. Can we drop that by a. Uh, hold on, something else. This is backing up, and I don't want it to stop. Oh, it's already done. Okay, let's try this an octave lower. draw some expression in here to make this attack less forceful. Cool. Let's figure out what our chords are going to be for this. I think it's going to be... Thank you for letting me know about the whole miss window misalignment. Super annoying. 
the first time I tried streaming, this is the new studio computer. The first time I tried streaming on it, uh, it's on YouTube. The it's only showing like the top quarter of this window, um, which is also annoying. Let's draw the rest of the chords in. Gotta listen to a lot of uh, repeated stuff when you're working. All right, let's do that. This nice slow attack. Dem sweet thirds. Don't ditch class, class is more important. So that's uh, where we're going. That's going to be our goal for these first few measures. Uh, but we want to ease into that. So that's a little intro bit that we need to flesh out. So I'm thinking what we'll do is this. Good, and this will be less white because we're actually going to draw this more that way. Right. 
problem is there's too much vibrato in the V1. Cool. I actually think we need to do this again so that it is even more like it grows more. so bad. There we go. There's some volume that needs to be smooth there. Double our cello on a bass clarinet because that's beautiful. Make sure the volume is at a good level here. Cool, that sounded good. Yeah, that's a little more coherent in terms of development. It starts nice and slow. But it doesn't take too long, I don't think. This could probably get a little louder here. See what else we need. Other than a consequent phrase.
That's a nice little concept phrase, I think. Don't like the syncopation there. Just need to figure out the chords here. Um, what about... That's okay. It's not earth shatteringly original, but it's effective. Let's see if we can do a counter melody. Okay, so let's get um, whatever's doubling that going. I'm gonna clean up my score a little bit. The score right now is a little hard to read. Um, actually, I think I'll go to this. And let's see. Yeah, okay. That should be helpful, okay. So the place where, this is where the main melody starts. So I think maybe, hmm, that's low. So I think that would be brass, and we would have at 14, here the oboe would come in doing this. Let's try it. Let's double the second violin now. Ooh, that's hard.
bassoon double our viola to get a little more on that um, that ending dissonance. Let's try it. Super loud. Excellent. Let's um, quiet that down a little bit. We're going to fix this too. Why is that so? Sometimes I click on something and nothing happens in logic. Sometimes it annoys me. Good. So now we just need to double the main melody, I think. We're going to try it with horn and see what happens. Hello, Rainwalker. been on a Mark Tree abuse tear. I think I'm going to not use it here. This is not good. <laughs> And again from the beginning, not get distracted.
little too discursive and not really sensible, but what is it? Just... My samples have just recently started doing that in the viola. I don't know why. It's super annoying. We're gonna bring the bases here too. And actually, you know what, let's record the basses first. No, you know, this is too... That sound good. Good. Okay. I don't want to make a. Is there a way to make that less? Um, apparently it's velocity.
just letting, I'm seeing where this is going. I'm not 100% sure this is where I want this to go, but it sounded like okay. Here's what's happening in the score. I can show you the whole score and see what I'm So nothing super complicated. This dotted rhythm here is wrong. It's actually half notes. Or, um, yeah, it's different. Let's, um, that's good. Um, we need now a melody that... the right melody but it's much closer it helps me get to where we need to go okay here we go I think if it had 
it's because that last one is the one. Yeah. It's this one. That's a big, uh, Really, we need this to continue. And we need this to be a... That would be optimal, I think. Yes. That sounds so much better. Okay. I need to hear the entire thing in context. There are no loop selector regions. Okay, I'm gonna save this, which takes a good 30 seconds. Beach ball. Okay. I'm sorry that you can hear like every disgusting sound my mouth makes when I drink coffee. I wish I had my nice microphone. I can hear myself in the headphones, so. Dissonance. We're gonna have to go in and massage the strings there a little bit to get get that dissonance to come out. But I feel like my string transitions are different. I don't know. I promise I will clean up the rhythm here. to crescendo so that we can move into something really big and because I think that the phrase right now is a little uh, hollow and emotionless. It would help if I had a modulation controller on my trumpet. record that. We need to do tempo flexibility. If this were a real orchestra, they would have some sort of pull and give and a lot of the tempo here, but... Okay.
Okay, recording. The question is, we want to put this. On. Once that's quantized, it'll sound really nice. And we need to change the character of this. I don't know why I haven't changed this character. Snare drum, more close mics, less of the main. Like that. Cool. We need to put in a uh, whoosh, a whoosh, suspended symbol. Was that like a beat off? Beat early? Repeat late. That's not the right one to fix later. Dun dun da dun 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 Let's try um I wish I could sing all my parts in, it would be so nice. to that and we should have something really fun.
something weird in there. It's going to take me a second to do this, but it's going to be worth it, I promise. How's everyone doing today, by the way? Uh, we want a new connection because we want the other sample server. Mm -hmm. You. Okay, before I add the choir, uh, those of you who watch the have watched the stream before know that this is sometimes a dicey proposition. So don't be surprised if this crashes everything. We want men's word builder. Nope, not women's, that's women's. Nope, nope, men's word builder. Hashtag composer life. Let's give them something good to say. Let's make their phrase be... This one's good because it's got lots of um, really good phonetic sounds here. Um, we need to connect this to that instance. Sounds super um, cheesy by itself. But when it is in context with the rest of the, I don't want this window open anymore, please. Where is Sake? When we give it some reverb. Let's put it in. Let's put it in. Uh, it's easiest just go to the preset here and go to SoCal Choir. Sorry to have to do this, but um, let's listen to the whole thing in context so we can see where we're going, where we've been, where we're going. Oops.
suddenly loud. Uh, it must do it with velocity a little bit. Right? It has to be. That's better. This, this one's at the point where I need to step away from it for a second. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little promotion. Let's listen to a little bit from um, I don't know. What should we listen to? Who wants to hear some stuff I'm working on for Spellbound? Let's do that. We're going to switch over to some Spellbound. This piece is in really good shape. Um, but it's sort of, I need to walk away from it for a few minutes, a couple of hours really, and, um, sort of let it gestate so that I can continue. If I push it now, it's going to start getting weird and, and the structure's not going to make sense. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to quit logic. We're going to save this. Um, and I'm going to switch to some music I was working on for, excuse me, Spellbound. It's that old, uh, age-old, uh, problem of where you sort of need your brain to work on it in the background. Um, I guess we'll just, whatever. Make it have some screen. Um, the most recent one we've done is, I think this one. Uh, 327.17. Let's see what this one is. So we are still in the conceptual, philosophical, big blue sky um, phase of Spellbound. So we're kind of working on some themes. So this is one that I was messing around with the other day. So the theme itself is um,
I think that's where we want to go. That's the theme. It's not the best rendering of the theme I've ever done. It's completely things up an octave. Can we just break into that theme there? just piano. I think the piano on its own, if I cleaned it up a little, would be really nice. <laughs> like, like not doing that. remember that chord. I don't know why. Sorry. 
as soon as I hit the record button, everything goes south. Separately. I don't know why I can never remember that chord. Save. I must hit save. Some people wonder why Logic took such a long time to do auto saves. That's why, because depending on the size of your project, a save operation is not something you want to necessarily happen automatically. Okay, I think that's a really nice rendering of that theme. I just think the velocities are a touch too high, especially in the bass. So let's do this. Let's grab all of our bass notes stuff. Let's just drop it down just a little bit. Just a little bit less. Let's just make it a little bit less.
The chalice, the chalice is too loud, but... Let's do that. Yeah, that's good. Sometimes you just gotta painstakingly go measure by measure. So I think this is more a problem of the fact that I turned the piano down too far than the, the, the chalice is too loud. The question is, can it go on the harp too?
guess we can try it. track loop. This is such a hard one for me. I don't know why. Like it needs to be even slower. Like maybe if this were 75, this would work. I don't know if the beginning works, bro.
This is going to sound terrible. Or great. Why do I always go to see there? Every time. second of that. Except for a few problems with rhythm, but... Questions don't want to move. Questions do I want to come in here and move this to the adagio to these two cellos? I do. directly into than the distance that I thought would work but didn't at the end, which is easy to fix. Oh, no! That will not fix it. It'll make it ours. Flautando violins there.
Maybe. I think boy choir. <laughs> Let's try boy choir. This is this is a really nice melody, but it is for some reason really hard for me to mess with it with sample libraries. It's really hard. This is going to sound angelic and perfect if I do it right. This is gonna be this is gonna sound starboundy. Cause I use this a lot in Starbound. Boys, vowels. Not eh, e. Oh. Plus if you connect the instance. That's going to sound like my favorite thing. I don't know why I went to the different folder to get the same preset, but... So this is for Spellbound, which is one of the new upcoming Travel Catfish games. Where this is more of a conceptual, how does this theme work in the game sort of track? It's not probably going to go in game. Although you never know. in the universe. This is probably going to be too much. Let's find out. It might be just enough. Who knows? I might add some ATO. Children's part two. It's too loud now.
we are looking for Lee Berries by ATO. We want Legatos. We want Soloists. We want Well, there's not really a soulist. Sure. Let's cut it. You know what's hilarious is I have a copy of the mixer up on the other monitor and I never look at it. So so wasteful. Um we don't want um words though. We want just like a vowel, like e. <laughs> um, let's go with. What if we just do this? Does that sound? bad with the ease. How can that sound bad? Let's try this one. I just want the vowels though. I don't want words. It's a sustain. I don't want a sustain. I want a legato. That's not... Oh, because it's a pad. I want the legato. Let's try mmm. That sound doesn't melt your heart. I don't, you know, you're a sociopath or something. That is the most beautiful sound. Match the reverb with the other one. The problem is this has some reverb on it already because 8DO, but... notes.
I don't know why that's so hard for me sometimes. I'll tell you why. It's because I'm trash at piano, and I don't practice enough. That is why. Always practice piano. Don't be like me. Be like someone good at piano. It's always late by one beat, whatever I choose. <laughs>
need to stop and think before I start recording. dog. We could just give up totally on this and go straight into... That's really nice, but the thing that I think I like better is, um... But, it has a nice arc to it. But that game, it already has a score. This is for a different game. Um... Hi Ty, you doing okay? You still limping a little. He gets corns on his feet. Hmm. We do a little faux star round thing. That sounds nice even without the melody. That chord, those chords are nice. Um, I think I need to have a think about this one. And this one needs to go out. So I think this will be the end of today's stream. I think it's a good place to call it a, call it a day. It's noon here, so it's lunchtime. I'm gonna play through this one more time and then I'll play a bonus track of something that I've been working on or whatever. Um, Maybe I'll play some more of the Spellbound stuff I've been working on, and then we'll uh, call it a day. So let's listen to this. I like this, the bareness of this. It's really exposed. Yes, you're next. Okay, hold on. This is for Spellbound. 
so yeah okay so for the bonus track for today I'm gonna first of all get rid of my do this for the why do you need me? um there it is Um, let's listen to another Spellbound track. This is a full Spellbound track. This is a different possible theme we were looking at doing, maybe. Um, is this it? That was the first one. E, maybe. No, D. Here's some other stuff we were looking at for Spellbound.
So yeah, that's that one. Here's another one, I think. This is the good one. This is the one everyone really liked, right? This one a lot. This is one of my favorite ones I've come so far. You gotta go through these big long sections where you try to find the thing that really sticks with you. And you know, I go back to a lot of these, and some of them I really like. So we may have to revisit some of these. There's one that has a really upbeat part that I really like. Here it is, yeah. Think about this maybe for graduation. ended up being my favorite one of that one so I need to go through and uh, take all of these give them names and kind of see what see what they all what they all sound like so all right well as I said we're gonna call it an end of the stream today um, I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit off of um, some unreleased stuff that I've been doing recently let me see if I can find anything good um, that's kind of our, our ending. And, uh, yeah, we'll call it a day. And, uh, I will see you all hopefully on Friday at some point. Um, let me see if I can find something good. Sorry, I'm not clicking around over here. It's like, what is he doing? What is this one?
Um, we'll play something on short stories. I think that'll be easier. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to uh, buy anything that I've written, the soundtracks to Starbound, uh, airships, um, etc., etc., you can look at the Bandcamp link right there. That's a great place to get some stuff of mine. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you all later. We will end the stream with listening to something. <laughs> uh, we'll listen to from... Oh, that's a good one. This is one from my album Short Stories. It's a track called The Signal. We'll call that our ending track today. I hope it's been fun for you. It's been fun for me. Um, I'll see you all hopefully on Friday. Bye.